You want to tell us about uh, the process of your hominy making? Oh, that's easy. I'm not going to say that I'm 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 going to say you should have a salt, put a wing, but not to get me salt. I, I boiled this in fire, eh? What ashes for two hours? Yesterday, Chinago. Irish Nango. We can't give much time, started late today. So we're gonna have these for supper tonight. They're almost done. Mm hmm. These little jackets. That's all we gotta do is burn them off, cook them off. And it's a good process. I started doing this last year. I started to prepare my corn last year to do this. They come good one, that one I'm making it through mahogany. I started off as corn. Now it's called mahogany. And how did it do, how, what's the process of making you it from corn? It, you boil it in ash water for two or I don't know. People that want to participate in this so community range, you don't have a partner. It's it's not it's not you don't have a partner. It's not good. I washed it. 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 And uh, now I'm trying to burn the boil these little skins. In the Nishnabe when they cut it, it's bogus. So we're gonna have this tonight. It's supper time. Nice. Mandashke. Put corn in here. Nice. And you make cornbread out of that. But I'm going to use it for thickening my soup. Okay. Yeah. So my grandmother had one of these. My grandfather used to do this. Michel means me not go to miss my cookie and not know. And they taught you how to do it? Yeah, and how to make this too. So grandparents are gifted parents when I had them. What are your tools made out of? This is hard maple. Mesh quick sit, baba nanoptic. Baba get mesh quick sit nanoptic. This is also hard maple. And why, what made you choose to decide to use that kind of wood? Because it's stronger, it's, it'll last longer, it takes a lot of punishment. You know, you know I could bang it around, I could throw it in the water, it'll float. And uh, it looks nicer. <laughs> so it, it, I know it's going to last. You know, I could carry this around for the rest of what, how long I've been, I'm going to be traveling, so it's going to last. And you grow your own corn and everything? I do it every year. I got, I got corn in the ground now in one, in one place in Michigan. And what, what, ki what kind of corn is it? I just use sweet corn. And I, this year I planted about half an acre of flint corn. That's what you call Indian corn. That's the one with the different colors. Okay. And can you do the same process with it? Yes. Okay. And so what are the kinds you boiling today? Is that just sweet corn? That's sweet corn, yeah. Okay. So this, is, this corn was treated. I, I, see, this, this, this is what I do there. See? That's that corn. But this corn was treated in my garage. What do you mean by that? Well, I, one of the containers, I put it in water and I put ashes in there and I just sit there, I stir it. Every, every time I walk through my garage, I stir it up with ash water. 
And ash water as in ashes from a fire? Or? Yeah. I usually use maple or whatever, oak. It's always hardwood ashes. And what's it do, dry it out? or? No, it it, it takes the color and it, it's ready to... It, this, this stuff cooks in three hours, this stuff here. That one takes about six or seven hours. Oh, okay. That's the difference. So this is already processed corn. It's already cooked. I wouldn't have to do that. Is it hot ashes then? Don't, don't, when I when I process it in the in the container in the plastic container about this size, about that high, I don't have. To. All I do is put cold water and hardwood ashes in there. I stir it up. And it soaks in there then. Yeah. Okay. For three or four days, and then I and then I drain it. And then I let it dry and keep moving it around. Then I try to get so much heat, dry this out of the garage, and I bring it in the house. And then I made a big plywood surface like a table and I put a rag over that clock and then I keep moving this around until it turns out like this. How many days does that take? It takes about, you know, two days, two weeks. Okay. I, I use the house temperature to dry it, so. Mm -hmm. so it usually takes about two weeks. If you dry it too fast, then it'll shrink to nothing. Oh, okay. You know, like this. Area. And that preserves them longer so that yeah, you can... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. And that's the way they always did it in the old ways? Yeah. They used to use birch bark containers though. Oh, okay. You know, like Jim, Jim Northrop makes those over here. Right. So this is a process, that was, well, this was actually taught by our grandparents, you know. You, you know, when we were young, everybody had to learn all this, like, how to do this, and this and that. If you, it didn't matter if you were a girl or a boy, you had to learn this. And a lot of the stuff I know today is true of my, my grandparents. And that's healthier to use that corn meal, meal compared to flour, Yes, right? yes. You know what you're eating now. Yes. With flour you don't, you know, you don't know how many mice or rats went through there. <laughs> <laughs> With this, it, it's, you know what I'm doing, you're seeing what I'm doing here. Mm -hmm. And it's clean, you know, it's not, it's not something you pick out of, a, you know, different transports, you know, it's so clean. And this is so clean too, you know, you don't see more. You know. Well, thank you, I appreciate you taking okay, some time with much. us. Uh -huh. Kimberly Acosta with Indian Country TV. Getting all the seeds out. So the seeds. Seeds are these white guys here, see? Mm-hmm. They're the seeds. I'll have to rinse them two or three times. That's for the soup, right? Yeah. Here's the finished product now. 